don't know what is happening outside but it is so loud out there hi guys good morning what is up welcome back to my channel today is going to be not a lazy vlog but like productive at home it's like pretty storm well it's not stormy right now every time i say stormy i think of whose kid is it is it kylie jenner's kid i don't even really keep up with the jenner's kardashians like i don't keep up with all that but i just said stormy and it made me think of that anyways it's like cloudy outside now but it's supposed to storm later today so it's going to be a at home get stuff done day I'm packing right now. I'll show you the situation in a sec. I'm headed to Montauk this weekend with a bunch of friends from high school, um, which is just out east. It's like a two hour drive from where I live. Um, Cause if you don't know Long Island where I live truly is an island. Like it's completely separated from everything else. But if you drive, you know, like out east, there's basically like one road that's gonna take us out there. And I'm driving with uh, my best friend from high school, Danielle. And we're meeting up with all of my other like best friends from high school. I wear this bracelet. You guys probably have seen it. It says Urge 8 because there's like eight of us that have been friends for like basically our whole lives. Like some of them it's literally been since like first grade and some of them it's been like later on like middle school, high school. Um, but I think like six or seven of us are going. Not everybody can make it just because some people started work and stuff. But anyways, I'm going on a tangent. Um, also, if you're new to my channel, you should definitely subscribe. So hi. I know we have a lot of new subscribers these days. Um, just the com just judging by the comments and everything people who are like new or maybe you like were subscribed to me But you haven't watched my videos in a while So it's so exciting to have all of you guys back and like the engagement on my channel has been like Amazing and I feel like youtubers don't really talk about that like when their channel is doing well But like it's not even that my channel is doing well Like it's just so cool to connect with you guys and like build This community and stuff and I know a lot of us are going through similar things like the whole post-grad thing at the same time So it's so cool I just am feeling so thankful and like responding to comments here and like I love you guys so much. So yeah, this is kind of a weird angle. What else have I done today? It sounds like someone's doing construction on my house, but I think it's the house next door. I've been pushing myself to wake up earlier. So today I woke up at 740 and laid in bed on my phone for like a while, but that's okay because the new podcast went up. So I like dealt with that. Um, Gals on the go, my podcast with Danielle, but I did a solo episode this week. So definitely go check it out. I'll have that link down below. Um, it's all about post-grad life and like here this is what it looks like I have, like the exposure up right now But post-grad life and adulting tips and it's actually like new information It's not really stuff that I've like said on this YouTube channel before because I wanted to make it very like Original and new content because I know my content can get really stale if you guys watch my vlogs Follow me on Instagram and listen to the podcast, but go check it out I'm pretty happy with the way it turned out and you guys seem to be like giving really positive feedback So the way that that works every week, I'll give you a little insight we have our gal Emma who we work with who she actually just did my new YouTube banner too so you can go to like my YouTube page and check it out but she's great. Why is someone ringing the doorbell 20 million times? Okay, I don't know why I just got like the spooks from someone ringing my doorbell but we're good. I locked the door and stuff so we're safe. I live in like such a safe town. I don't know why I get the spooks so easily. I got, it, it was so bad when I lived in Athens. I would get so freaked out like I don't know, I'm really like paranoid. Oh, so how it works with the podcast. We have it very like, there's like a system now. It's so great. It's so nice to like just develop systems in your life and like get them flowing and like stick with it on a consistent weekly basis. It makes your life so much easier. So what we do is we work with Emma, our graphic designer who we do pay. Um, obviously we pay her. And she basically helps us with our Instagram page as well as just graphics for us. So um, we send her like the picture we want to use and then she puts it on our Instagram. So you just have to go check out the Gals in the Go podcast Instagram. But basically we send her a picture in the title and then she does the little editing bit for us and creates like these little promo graphics for us. And yeah, she's my, like I just love working with her. She made our um, cover of our podcast too. And uh, her Instagram is esm.creative. So that's who we work with and I love her, support her if you can. If you are like making graphics for something, she's the best and so great to work with. Anyways. So yeah, new gals in the go episode went up today. So we like to, you know, promote that in the morning, obviously get the graphics up, the story up, all that stuff, and then get that all going. I mean, it's 11 now. I already, like I said, upload the video, trying to deal with some apartment stuff. And I know I'm being so vague. I'm like, when I say I'm dealing with apartment stuff, it's just because it's like kind of all over the place right now. More solid updates will come. And now I'm actually about to work on my brother's lacrosse video. So my brother basically asked me if I could help him with his lacrosse video. And it's so, it's actually like relatively easy. Like I'm sure he could do it, but I'm like better with the tech stuff. I'm like the tech person of my family. <laughs> so it's on huddle. And basically he gave me all of these times that he um, 
like scored and I'm going to go in and like highlight all the clips and make him the video I think I'm just gonna make it on huddle and then I'm gonna like import it to like export to my computer This way I can add music and like do the more fancy stuff But I want to like get the content um, today and I obviously want to do that, you know before I go to Greece before um, I'm gone in Boston and stuff and like start my job. So this is going to be like a next few days project I can show you guys my packing situation i like don't have one good duffel bag right now so unfortunately i have to use my carry-on suitcase but i think it's gonna be fine because we have six or seven girls i think it might be seven one night but it's gonna be six the first night and we have two rooms so like we have plenty of space um so this is just like what i'm bringing it's gonna be really cold though so i like want to bring bathing suits and stuff but it's gonna be cold and i'm not really a huge beach person so i don't really know i'm probably gonna bring like some sort of sweater like i might bring this one i'm wearing now just like lighter sweaters to wear on the beach with like jean shorts or maybe like i don't really have like beach pants or like good beach pants right now but stuff like that would be my vibe ideally and then for going out at night i have just white jeans and then like lacy tops and stuff i need to figure out another going out outfit and then i have this bodysuit that i hauled a while back well a few vlogs ago that i want to bring um bathing suits i'm just bringing a bunch of options uh, all the snacks that we got at costco yesterday packed in my car maybe i'll show you guys later so it's gonna be a weekend of eating for sure I need to cut off this tag. This beach bag drunk elephant sent me and I'm going to be using it because it comes with the towel, which is so nice. I'm bringing these sunglasses that I haven't worn yet. They're from some brand that I cannot pronounce, but they're just like black oversized. They're from that brand. Um, I got them from Express. And then I need to put like lip balm and stuff like that in this little carry-on container. Not carry-on, what the heck am I saying? Cosmetic pouch. I just packed the book that I got yesterday, When Life Gives You Lemons, even though it's probably gonna be like, you know, we'll be hanging on the beach, like listening to music, chatting and stuff, but I am gonna just bring the book just in case, because I love reading on the beach. What else did I put in here? Oh, and then in here, this is my like big, <laughs> big bag of sunscreen. This is from like, just, it's just like accumulated sunscreens. I might just bring it all just so that I have and like I can offer to other people. My personal favorites obviously are the Drunk Elephant one. This is the Ultra Sheer, just SPF 30, not super heavy on your skin. I know it's really good for the environment too. So it's not, cause I know some sunscreens, like I don't really know too much about sunscreen. Honestly, I'm not very educated on it, but I do know that this one, is like good for your skin good for the environment and then this is one that it's like a tinted moisturizer too so it has like the tint in it and spf 30 so interested in that well i mean i'm definitely bringing those two this is like pretty empty this spray so maybe i won't bring that um hydro boost that would probably be good because it's like water base and then maybe beach defend this is like my family's bag from when we would like go on vacations and stuff so maybe i'll just bring these four because i don't think it's necessary to bring six that's extreme for a two-day trip and then in terms of lip products i have this spf 30 hawaiian tropic one maybe i'll keep these in the little pouch this is cute okay and then i have this jack black one which i use at all times of the day but it does have spf 20 which is so great so i'm definitely gonna bring that to the beach spf is really i'm really bad i don't wear it every day unless i wear a foundation that has spf in it but it is so important for your skin's health and if you want to you know age well and just like i don't know skin cancer and all that stuff is so real i see so many girls my age a little bit older younger whatever just girls in general going to the beach and like bragging about getting like so tan and like either wearing like spf 4 lotion or like nothing and just burning to a crisp it is so bad for your skin so bad for like you get wrinkles so easily if you do that i cannot stress enough that sunscreen is so important so please i know it's cool to get tan and everything and you could still get tan and wear sunscreen and be cool like please it's so important in terms of other just general stuff that I'm packing for the little trip, um, definitely bringing my Littles kit from Junk Elephant. This is available at Sephora and you can purchase it. I mean, it, I'm not gonna lie, it's Drunk Elephant is really expensive skincare, um, but I think it's so incredibly worth it. Um, I don't know if they'll want to work with me after me saying how expensive it is, but it's the truth. I just really like this kit because it has, like like I said, everything. I brought this on. Where did I bring this? I think I brought it on spring break, actually. But it has everything that I use in the little size, including the jelly cleanser, which I use when I travel. It's just the perfect size of everything, especially if you're, you know, going away for... What a, less than a week this is perfect it doesn't take up too much room at all and you have like the full skincare regimen here so so cute and it's a really good way to try out the brand if you're interested i know it's kind of an investment but this could be something that um would be beneficial if you're like interested in trying out the brand so i will have it linked down below no pressure though because i know obviously it's expensive and stuff i love how it comes in this blue little bag i got this bag actually in my fab fit fun box and i love it because it has one of these Ugh. it has one of these hangers i'll be able to put my makeup 
in there and hang it up so that I can easily um, do it all. And I guess I should bring like body wash and all of that stuff too. All right, so today's gonna be a packing day. Okay, some people are gonna think that I'm a literal psychopath for listening to stuff like this because it sounds really boring and it probably is really boring to most people, but I'm listening to this book on Audible called The Art of Stress-Free Productivity. And it's just, I mean, not only is it great like background music, not music stuff, but I'm actually learning a lot. I've been trying to get through it for a really long time, but I'm just trying to power through it so I can get to the next book. Um, pretty boring, but very informational. Don't know if I'd recommend it to everyone. And then I'm working on my brother's lacrosse um, video, doing it on Huddle. It's actually like really easy. Um, he just wrote down all the times and then I just have to go in like edit. Like there he, like, there he is, boom. Um, it's pretty standard, I feel like, doing it. Pretty easy to use. I think that this is it then after this one I'm done. Okay, so I'm packing up. I'm really bringing like light, light makeup to the beach. Um, I guess I'm going to the beach. That's technically where I'm going. So that's why I'm referring to it as that. It's CC cream. Um, I do need to bring like a touch up powder, but I think I'm about to use that. Um, bronzer, blush, just like a highlight powder. I think I might just bring one eyeshadow and then use bronzer um, just to keep it super simple. And then I need like mascara and all that stuff, but I think it will all fit in here. And then I have my brushes at the top, and then this is going to be my Kopari deodorant. This is really good. This is um, all natural. I'm trying to make the switch to all natural deodorant. It isn't like super, like, I don't know how to describe it. I don't really sweat that. Like I sweat, a, I would say an average amount. Like I don't really have a sweating problem, but for some reason I just, I don't know. It's aluminum free still. So, like I just feel like it's not doing the full job. Let me know if you guys have a more preferred natural deodorant that you use. Um, I do like this one because I like like the stick of it and stuff, but it's just, it doesn't, it doesn't smell. So I, I need to smell better, I think. <laughs> Let me know if you have recommendations. And then I'm bringing my um, Glossier Solid Perfume, which I like to use when I travel because you can just like put it on your hand and then rub it on your neck and stuff. It's just like easier. I actually think that I have Scentbird coming today or tomorrow, which I could use too. But this is just like easy, it's fine. Um, any travel perfume does it. I actually clipped on a hand sanitizer to my beach bag because it gets gross at the beach. I'm bringing two portable chargers fully charged up. These are just ones that I've had. Um, this one I got for Christmas like one year. And then this one I got for free like through a UGA project that I did. So those can go I guess like just in my beach bag, sure. And then I'm bringing my AirPods obviously for the beach. Even though we'll probably be like chilling listening to music on the speaker. AirPods are important. And then I stopped to do, you know, like toothbrush, all that stuff. And it's like two o'clock now. I got off the phone with um, my future apartment and just was like dealing with some things. Just like, you know, they made me not like an offer, but they had a preferred employer program. So I had to call and like ask questions about that and make sure that everything's like going through properly because I like it says something different online than what they like offered me in person basically. So yeah, that's a tip. If you're looking for apartments, I mean, you can't really at least the places that I looked at, you can't like negotiate and be like, I'll offer you this because they're gonna like laugh you out of the place, but you can ask if they have incentives or include everything, anything. And um, like, for example, this apartment had a preferred employer program. Like since I'm working for Oracle, which is a company with 500 or more employees, I get like certain benefits, like discounts and stuff. So discounts, specials, whatever you wanna call it. So that's pretty cool. I know this vlog is gonna be really boring, but you guys seem to just be liking the vlogs in general, so I'm gonna keep up with it. I'm hoping I'll be able to fit this all. It's not looking super promising, but I'll give you a little rundown. I asked my friends and they said they're dressing pretty casual. I was gonna bring like a sundress or something from Princess Polly, but I just have a feeling that's just not gonna be the vibe because it's gonna be like 60, low 60s. So even with these, I might need a little jacket. I'm thinking maybe a leather jacket for this one and then like a denim jacket for, oh my God, I'm packing so much stuff. This is um, a little outfit that I wore in my Princess Polly haul. It's like the wedgie Levi's and then this tank top. Um, it's just like very summery and I brought wedges for that or I could wear it with my Tory Burch sandals. This one, I have just this pink lace tank tucked into these white jeans. Um, they're from J. Crew, um, and this tank top is from Indigo Child in Athens. So that's gonna be like another going out fit. I only need two, but I'm gonna bring three just in case. And then this is another lace tank. I just love the lace tank top thing. I, they are cut well. It's a, definitely like a, a look for me because um, they're flowy, which is nice. This one is black and then I'm, I would wear it with my Fashion Nova high rise jeans and then these black boots, which I don't care if they get like destroyed because they already kind of are destroyed and they were from Amazon and I've had them forever. And yes, so those are the three fits that I have to pack. I'm bringing this black purse from Princess Polly and then I need kind of like a neutral purse to wear with these outfits. I'm so like particular with that. I don't know. Like I don't want to use a black purse for like this outfit that just like wouldn't go. 
I'm weird. And then I pack just like sports bras and like two big t-shirts and one pair of like athletic shorts. And then over there I have denim shorts. Um, yeah, this is pretty messy, but at least I have outfits, you know. I also just got my package that I ordered like a week ago, about a week ago, <laughs> from ASOS. I can show you guys what's in it actually. I'm serving a look right now with the acne cream on because I have big pimples forming up here and on my chin and I don't wanna have them this weekend, so. And um, I was just wearing this athleisure fit around all day. This is from Lululemon, honestly not the biggest fan of it. I got it on clearance and I could tell why. It's just a lot is happening. So let's open this up. I'll have all the links down below per usual. I ordered a bunch of stuff. I'm so excited. And I got it all on when they did 20%, 25% off. But um, just so you know, they always do a student discount. And I think it's relatively easy to get the student discount. Like, I know I graduated, but I think I could still technically get it. I don't really know how that works, though. So I ordered it when it was on sale. But this is what I got. Ooh, maybe I'll try to include a try. I'll try to include a try on clip because this is going to be really hard. Um, this is, I think that I got this with the intention to wear to work and it looks like I could. It's just like a big, it almost looks like just a black t-shirt dress, but then it does have the tie around the waist. And it's like a cottony, more casual material, but I think if I wear this with my, my new Gucci, like, loafers, oh, like, it just would make it so, like, nice looking, I feel like. And, um, you could throw, like, a sweater or something on top of it, probably, like, an open sweater or some kind of jacket or blazer, probably. I don't know. This seems like, it feels like it's a more casual material, but I feel like I'd be able to make this work. This jumpsuit for, ideally for Greece, but honestly just for the summer in general. And it's this purple color and it's super, um, I'm just nervous about it because it's really, really flowy. I just didn't worry about it being like too flowy, but it's this really pretty lilac-y color. And they had it in a bunch of different colors, but I wanted to get the purple because I thought it was fun. I believe this was like $40 with, and then with the 20% off, it was like a pretty good price. So another lace tank. Clearly I like them. Okay, clearly I like these. But this is for work purposes, strictly. I wouldn't wear this out just because of the buttons and everything. I feel like it makes it more of a workwear vibe and depending on how high it hits, hoping that it goes like pretty high and it's a little more conservative. But this could definitely be it. Under a blazer with black pants. And then I just have like a really simple like business casual, not business casual, that's like really like nice business actually. Or I could just wear this with a pair of business pants in general. I probably would have to wear some kind of sweater over it. Just like a, oh, I could wear my like pink blazer over this or I just got a new striped blazer. I don't know what this is. Oh, nipple covers for, um, I don't know what I got them for actually. Something, maybe just to have in general. I think I needed them. This is a little TMI, but I, um, I do try to wear a bra as much as possible just because I feel more comfortable in one. I feel more like secure and like tucked in and everything, but with some outfits, it's kind of impossible, so. Yeah, and then I got this shirt for work, I think. Oh yeah, I just kind of got one of these that looks just like it from Banana Republic, but I feel like you can never really have enough of these like sheer, like blousey type things. Like you could wear this a million different ways for work and dress it up, dress it down. Definitely order on ASOS when they have a sale because they have sales all the time. The quality kind of is what you pay for. I definitely don't feel like it's like crazy quality, but I think that they're so trendy and like with the times that for how trendy the items are, the items are of nice quality, if that makes sense. Like I'd much rather shop from ASOS, especially because I like shopping on their website, than like Forever 21. I don't know why, that's just a personal preference. And I've just had like good experiences with them. And I like how not everybody has stuff. I find that like, I know a lot of people that shop from them, but it's kind of like a hidden wonder in the sense of, like not everybody is gonna have the same things. I'm going to uh, keep on sipping on. Hi, can I please get a grande, very, very hibiscus refresher, please? Very, very, absolutely anything else. That's it, thanks. All right, it's 418 at the window. Cool. Yeah, um, I don't know what's wrong with me, but I had to run out to get a prescription and I just thought that I needed Starbucks, even though it's 3.30. <laughs> but I don't, I didn't want a coffee, so I got a Very Bear Hibiscus Refresher, throwing it back to when I was in what, 11th grade, 10th grade? I think that's like when I first started drinking Starbucks, what I used to get but it just sounds very refreshing right now. I'm in such a weird mood, you guys. I don't know what is happening, but yeah. I have to go pick up my prescription spot treatment um, for acne. Like, I actually ended up, I was supposed to make a dermatologist appointment, but I don't need to go because I just needed a refill of my current product. Like, my skin is in the same state that it always is, knock on wood. Like, it's, I don't know, like, I just get, like, spot 
acne, I guess. You know what I mean? Like I break out like randomly and this is like a really good prescription level treatment and I had refills on it so I didn't need to go to the dermatologist again because like I'm good. I just needed that. But I thought that if I didn't have any refills yet in the left, I would have to go to the doctor, but I'm good. So yeah gonna get this and then I can just go through the Walgreens drive through it's great <laughs> I'm not dressed um, I filmed those try on clips and then I put on like leggings and this t-shirt so we love that okay just parked at home secured the bag um, oh I want to show you guys all the snacks I got for tomorrow from Costco they definitely have the best deals if you're going for like large quantities of snacks. I've said it before, I love Costco, but if you have like a party or anything, like obviously go there. I mean, I feel like that's like a widely, oh, and raise my windows. Oh, there we go. I feel like that's like a widely known fact that Costco has like great stuff. But in case you didn't know, now you know. Like I said, we have many girls going, but we got a lot of different stuff. Other people are bringing like hummus and like dips and stuff. So that's why I got Stacy's. We love Doritos. The kettle chips. Some of these bags are a little too big, I will say. But I didn't want to get the individually packaged ones because I figured that, you know, once we open it, like we'll just eat it. And then we got these poppable things, popcorn, cookies, another thing of goldfish. Honestly, like We'll just open things as we go, obviously. And then a case of water because thirsty girls. And I know that it's like obviously better to not use the reusable plastic bottles. I'm gonna bring my hydro flask to use like reusable water bottles and like reuse my water as much as possible. But I don't know if they have a good um, filtration system and I don't really, I try not to drink Long Island tap water um, unless I have to. So <laughs> pull and spring it is. And that is all the stuff in the trunk. Hey guys, so I'm charging my camera and I just wanted to pop in to say thanks for watching. I mean, this is like 21 minutes long, so I feel like I can end it here. And uh, this was kind of a random vlog and I just wanted to say that I'm probably not gonna be posting for a few days um, just because I am going on vacation with my friends. I have nothing pre-filmed, unfortunately. Sorry about it. Um, but I do wanna just like unplug a little bit and enjoy just it's literally like two or three days that I'll be gone and then I'll be back at it don't you guys worry um with the moving vlogs and stuff and uh hopefully I'll have some apartment updates and everything like confirming that I got the unit and all of that good stuff and I do have a face mask on right now I'm doing the summer Fridays um overtime map and I've had it on for probably an hour so I probably should go wash it off I'm gonna take a shower I feel very greasy right now love you guys so much thanks for watching if you made it to the end of course you have to comment that you made it to the end give this video a thumbs up no matter what and I love you guys so much bye guys